5 Unbelievable Human Powered Machines Part 2 Number 5. VertiWalk A new way to move between floors in tall buildings is currently being devised by a team at Roambout Freeling Lab. They realize that as space becomes more scarce, people will inevitably need to build upwards instead of outwards, leading to all sorts of future problems. Elevators are useful, but not foolproof, as they require a large amount of external power to operate efficiently, with stairs taking a lot of effort to traverse. Furthermore, stairs take up a lot of space and don't offer much in the way of function, which limits what we're able to do with available space. The VertiWalk was designed with everyone in mind, with one tester suffering from MS being able to operate it with ease, much like another tester who was an amputee. The VertiWalk also requires no external power source, being propelled by you and requiring minimal effort or energy expenditure to make the most of it. It uses a system of ropes and pulleys to hoist oneself directly up while positioned on a seat. The foot pad rises and falls to assist you, with a quick adjustment allowing users to return to the ground. Number 4. Tanawa Sub If you haven't heard about the world's newest human-powered training sub, Prepare to be amazed! The Tanawa is a project that has been undertaken by students at the University of Auckland, and they have likened it to riding a bike underwater. The Tanawa almost broke speed records for vehicles of this kind is currently the reigning champion. It is 3 meters long, weighing 60 kilograms. It is able to reach speeds of 3.56 knots at the moment, although the team is confident that they will be able to make it faster in the future. The body is made of two fiberglass pieces that are fitted together with screws and straps. The submersible definitely looks cool, and the idea that a team of students is paving the way when it comes to human-powered underwater vehicles is impressive. The team has been at it since 2013 and have won a number of awards since then. The team realized that motorized subs aren't all that great when it comes to monitoring surrounding conditions, with the Tanawa sub allowing users to feel changes in ocean currents and adjust accordingly. Number 3. ETA Aerovelo's ETA speed bike is being hailed as the world's fastest bike, breaking all sorts of records so far. It's truly a marvel of modern engineering, and the end result is nothing short of spectacular. The previous record holder was able to move at 133.8 km per hour, while the ETA was able to achieve a human-powered speed of 144.17 km per hour which is ridiculously fast, especially considering it isn't motorized. To help users achieve these speeds, the bike itself is only 25 kilograms when empty, and its frame is entirely made of carbon fiber. It is balanced on ultra-thin 650C wheels. Testing is done along a 5-kilometer track that allows testers to monitor every aspect of the ride. We can't believe that a human-powered bike was able to go so fast and would be terrified if we were the ones piloting it but are impressed that the team was able to build such a ridiculously speedy human-powered vehicle. It goes without saying that the ETA's top speed is difficult to maintain for extended periods of time, but further testing will hopefully allow it to reach higher speeds with less energy expended. Number 2. Human-Powered Helicopter If you thought the ETA was a marvel of modern engineering, the human-powered helicopter that's currently in development at the University of Maryland will blow you out of the water. The team is trying to be the first to claim the Sikorsky Prize, which is to be awarded to the first group that is able to build such a craft. The helicopter needs to hover at a height of 3 meters for a full minute while also staying within a 10 meter box. This may sound easy, but is incredibly difficult to pull off in reality, with numerous teams all vying for the $250,000 grand prize. On top of the U of M team, a group in Canada also have their sights set on the prize money and international attention that goes along with it. Both teams, however, are using the same materials, with their designs including carbon fiber, styrofoam, and balsa wood. The issue isn't lifting off the ground, but staying stationary long enough to last a full minute within the 10-meter box. Being so light, weighing no more than 100 pounds, these craft will get pushed to the side with a tiny amount of wind meaning they definitely need to work on stability before they can claim victory. Nobody has been injured during testing yet, which is a good thing, because most pilots are youngsters due to their being lighter and more energetic than most. Number 1. Ruppert The Ruppert Easy Glider is basically a high-end hang glider. 
It builds on its predecessors by using modern technology to achieve a craft that is lightweight, easy to put together, and also has an amazingly slow minimum speed, allowing for use in conditions that would be dangerous or even deadly with a conventional glider. It is also easy to use and is operated with the use of two sticks to control movement. Takeoff is achieved either by foot, electric engine, or a rubber robe catapult to launch the craft. The electric starter can be added or removed without any tools and can be turned on or off easily with the flip of a switch. It also has a flight speed of 2.5 meters per second. Adding to its versatility, the Ruppert can also be towed behind any aircraft before launch, with a maximum towing speed of 100 kilometers per hour. Landings, even running landings, are possible without too much effort, but do require some training to perfect. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave a like and hit that subscribe button so that you won't miss any of our future videos.